Okay, so this is a topic I've been wanting to talk about for a very long time, and I'm very passionate about talking about it, and it's the idea that grades do not matter, and they do not define who you are as a person. Now, a lot of people need to hear about this, because some people just don't get it. And this is coming from my perspective, my standpoint, and like what I've been through um, throughout like elementary and high school, okay? Look, okay, we are basing off someone's intelligence on a system of measuring someone's ability to get answers right on a piece of paper. Think about that, okay? Obviously, you have the standard A, B, C, D, fail, you know, whatever. It's different in different areas, I guess, but you are solely based on that in school and it's almost like your worth comes from it because if you don't get the highest grade or level in that department of whatever you're studying in then you're just known to be either dumb or you're just not capable of doing anything i guess that's that's the image that you are given in that case but that is entirely wrong it is so false, and sometimes it just makes me so mad to think that people really think that. And I guess, like, with a little bit of backstory, I have been a very nonchalant person when it came to school. Like, I didn't really give a crap. And this could be really biased, but to me, I always thought school, the whole point of it was to just go and socialize, you know, do what I have to do, you know, like review my, you know, subjects, uh, you know, and I guess just, just, just do it, just do it, you know? And ultimately at the end, I've passed every single class. Would it be with a good grade? Not necessarily, but you know, obviously I have my highs and lows, but I never ever let it define how I was as a character and as a person. And I think a lot of people need to understand that you know kids go in to school and when they get even like let's say they they're like a 90 student and they drop to an 85 they'll literally be crawling or not crawling bawling their eyes out just because they got a five percent difference think about that a five percent difference from a 90 to an 85 they'll be bawling their eyes out that is crazy that is such a crazy thought to me that you would even act like that and now I understand, you know, some students need to get good grades so then they can get into a good school to get a good job to provide for their family because maybe they're not the most fortunate enough um, to have like a, you know, a lot of income coming into their household, which is understandable, right? Those kids work really hard or international students, you know, they come over and they have to work really hard so they can make a great life, you know, after school, which is 100% understandable, but it's not necessarily that. It's just the idea that your entire life is only based off of that, okay? And it's just it just sucks because some students feel like they get worth from grades. I hate that, you know? I always thought that was so stupid growing up. Like, kids would cry over it. Kids would, you know, start freaking out when their GPA dropped and, like, this could go into a lot of different issues, you know, mental health issues, okay? Parents are expecting a lot out of their kids, right? And they expect them to get the highest grade. And even if they get like a percentage lower or a couple of percentages lower, the parents will freak out and like disown their kids, which makes the kids feel even more stressed out, which could put a huger toll on their mental health. God damn, are you being serious? You, as a parent, are going to risk your kid's mental health just so then they get a better grade? Like, what? What the... What we're, What have we came to or come to as a society to think that is okay? Like, I get it. You want your kid to be better than you and you want them to succeed in life, but that is not how you do it, okay? Like... The education system is already flawed in itself, right? Like, it is just completely freaking ass all the way from elementary to freaking university. Like, university is just a freaking scam. But that's a whole other video I'm going to be talking about.
like if I could cruise through school getting like let's just say a below average okay I was not average average as I said I was like a little bit below average if I could cruise cruise through school and still make it to university getting even better grades than I did in elementary and high school what does that say you know like and then if I were to even base off my worth off of those grades I probably wouldn't have even made it to university in the first place if I cared that much if that makes sense because I'd just be worrying so much I'd be stressing I'd be overthinking and you know what you know analysis paralysis and I just completely stopped doing everything because I get like information overload and then I just I just fail because I can't focus on you know anything but yeah just uh I think students shouldn't be so hard on themselves I think they need to just I think they just need to chill you know like and I guess this is like towards the students that are like try harding you know once again not necessarily a bad thing just don't base your worth off of grades because once you get out of school and you get into the real world that does not matter anymore like no one's gonna look at you and be like oh my god you got like a 65 because that 65 percent student or that freaking d student could literally outmatch a a plus student and you you see it you literally see it like all these d c students start like doing some next gen stuff when they get out of school and they become millionaires while the a plus students start to you know they just like they become regular employees under a company and work for like literally i don't even know how much like a little bit over minimum wage like you're just following a system you fo you like paying attention to the grade and only sticking to that is by sticking to the book and when you stick to the book you're built to be an employee not an entrepreneur not a leader you are a slave to society only thinking about like a measurement of like levels if that makes sense because grades are considered to be levels if you just worry about that you're not gonna get anywhere okay you have to create your own worth and if you if you keep on doing that like once again you're just not gonna be successful but uh yeah yeah you know i guess uh yeah just create your own worth Stop thinking so much about grades. They do not define you. And if you're ever feeling very depressed about school, just remember, you can always take a break, okay? Even if it's like, you, like if you're stressing the fuck out, just stop, okay? Really. And reevaluate what your beliefs are, what your goals are, and you'll get through school, I guess. But yeah, I'll make another video about school, guys. So don't you worry about that. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.